switching it up. It has, but I to catch up. Goated. Throw a spanner in the works. I am interested to see why it Best of both worlds. ended up picking this map. But honestly, if I had to call out anything, the ban on Li Zhang, they did get their butts handed to them by Kevster's Echo. So I could totally understand the logic of going ahead and banning that out. And then you go to a map that. Uh, Arrested versus uh, Ram. Better, really? Sanctum, maybe limiting some of the potential there of that Echo. But hey, there you go. I think that this is. I like that matchup. That you can really see it still come to fruition, especially on Shrine. That Echo is still a problem. Yeah, it's still a massive issue. And like Jake was saying too, and I think he put it perfectly, so the perfect hero for Kevster. Such a glass cannon. You can get so much done so quickly. You can get block. In after block, 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 punch, punch, block. Block, block, punch. Quartz lives to tell the tale. Kai Massa are actually the first to fall for uh, Ents. Is Twisted Minds starting off strong? First cap, okay. First cap going the way of Twisted Minds. This is something that the desk talked to that if you're hmm. going to play like the Ramatro or even the Malga, you have to play as a team of five. And that is something that Twisted so they swapped Minds off the Echo to the uh, Tracer. Previous match. And so they are going to make a swap. Vestola going over to the Arisa. Arisa versus Ramatra. We really like to see this matchup because it comes down to those cooldown usages between the Ramatra and the Arisa. And Vestola's Arisa has been marking down the backline so well that it might make those decisions from those supports just a little bit harder. Vestola went sub 10 HP there. Railgun headshot. From Quartz <laughs> is going to buy them. I think he actually hit Arisa. one. Okay, a bit of an early Suzu. We'll see if that does make a difference. There's now Kai and the rest of the team just surging onto the point. God damn. They say firmly in their sights. Did they end up potting, uh, popping the nemesis form there, Rose? Just holding the arms up, but there's not enough healing. Especially I have no favor in this in this game. Being used um. To mines too. <clears throat> Much to be, uh, trying to I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hope to see the Ram team win. Up, just I, I don't I don't like seeing Arissa's win. Is that bad? That might be toxic. Terror surgeons are going out. Forces quartz all the way back. Oh the. <laughs> The punch, the quick shot punch into Kevster. The post bomb goes wide, and Twisted Minds end up re uh, like still holding on to the point. 75%. They lose KSA at the start, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> They're completely unwavering in that fight. As KSA now joins them once again, that annihilation and soundbar available for Twisted Minds. Ends throwing a lot in there to try and make that happen, but Twisted Minds shut them out. And now look at this. Kevster's off the Echo, going over to the Tracer, and this kind of feels. Wait, they don't really have many ults. Ends can't have a clean engagement here. Uh oh. Down to Masa using there the goes your ult. He's dead. Masa, no Sandbar. I'll be Twisted Minds to just run in. Just W M one straight. Yeah, just run at the uh, Sojourn and just kill her. Yeah. And Slay taking the two v two on height and just Slay and Twisted Minds a ninety nine. Wait, I love that their Moira player is named Slay. That's fucking awesome. They both get this sound barrier. But the likelihood of them getting a kill, let alone a, a team wipe, is pretty unbelievable there. And even a stick on top from UB. Wow, what a start from Twisted Minds. Very much warmed up. They're in the server, they're in the game, they're in the series. All they're for anti Arisa prop. Propaganda, same. To zero to start it out. <laughs> zero. <laughs> that didn't ask in the chat. The match chat. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a hit, hit, hit him with a C9. Uh, it's such a tiltable moment if you see that, because it's like everyone was dead. That's mm -hmm, not a C9. Mm -hmm. C9 expert over here. That didn't happen. Uh, but yeah, what a what a lights up performance here by Twisted Minds, being able to get that point capture 100 to zero. One way to switch Kevster off of this Echo, play Ramatra. Ramatra is not as easily susceptible. Hey, what would you guys do this weekend? Sticky bombs, Anything good? Focus beam, I didn't see you guys so for like two days. In yesterday's match, and so now Kevster. Uh, gonna I miss try anything good? Again, but the angles that you have to find here, Quartz is gonna get a little bit better sight lines depending on the corner he's playing from. You got snowed in. Wait, are you like in New Hampshire? To try to play underneath. I heard New Hampshire got like 20 inches of snow or some shit rough here for Kevster, although when you are fighting on this straight, it's pretty easy to spam as the Echo. Oh, main. Oh, even worse. Yeah, you're double. You're giga fucked. Sat at home alone. That's kind of real. Broke up with my girlfriend. Oh. At least it was your decision. 
Puts himself on the point as well. It'll be the uh, first cap. Oh my god. The sticky bomb. I've literally never met a person from New Hampshire. There as he descended onto point to try and uh, stop Kevzer from getting away. People from New Hampshire don't leave New Hampshire. First. My god. It's just such a freak of nature, man. He, like, he, the guy was built to play Overwatch. Like, it is ridiculous. His aim and just uh, precision on the Echo is second to none. Oh, so clean. And, like, especially if you're able to get a big pick onto a support, a DPS. Like, it just blows up Twisted Mind's game plan there. When you can't go in as a full team of five, you can't stack. Like, they want to. New Hampshire's a real place. Listen, New Hampshire, New Hampshire fills a very important role in New England. It's like the, ooh, um, it's like the kind of southern New England state that you go to if you live close to it, like within an hour, to buy massive amounts of either alcohol, fireworks, cigarettes, or furniture for no income tax, for no sales tax. They do have some really good tools to work with. This coalescence, especially if Ents want to take this high ground fight, that's an easy trigger to pull. Force playing yourselves on the point, trying to get an angle to Kepser on the back, and an angle he did So, it serves its purpose. It's real. Um, it's actually so real that, fun fact, oh, I mean, it, I mean, I guess it's been like eight years since I've been up there, but fun fact, on the border of New Hampshire and Massachusetts, there's a sign that says like, welcome to New Hampshire type of thing. And then literally next to the sign, like as close to the border as you can get, is this giant, big ass red building. And it's like a giant, almost convenience store. But all they sell is alcohol, fireworks, um, cigarettes, small amounts of furniture, it's like all the shit people go to New Hampshire for. Their entire business model is selling goods to people from Massachusetts to avoid taxes. It's actually so bad that Massachusetts and New Hampshire State Police camp that building during fourth of july time because people will buy the fireworks there and then cross back over the border and you can't do that so what they do is they have someone sit in the parking lot and wait and they have someone on the other side of the border sit there and wait and they just every time they see somebody walk out of the building with fireworks they just radiate and go like whatever the fucking plate number is and then the guy on the other side sits there and waits and if you drive past them, they know you just left the store. They just pull you over instantly. They're like, "Yeah, we know you. We saw you." They're very close to taking this map, but one difference maker could be Quartz's oh, bit audible by me. Pulling out the sur spicy sriracha ketchup. I was not a big fan of the salsa. But man, that was fucking good. That Quartz has his ultimate ready to go. Oh, here's the overclock. Looking straight at Kai right now. Does manage to land a body shot, but a boot from Mark. That was worth. Getting this has been a great life decision. Fantastic. Hepster not overextending, but Quartz going down at the very last moment. Means Get good quality stuff, you know. <clears throat> what purpose is the Connecticut and Rhode Island surf? So Connecticut's purpose for a long time was to uh, have casinos. So Connecticut is three things. It depends on what half. Half of Connecticut is New York's. That's not ours. They claim it. That's all the people that live in New or work in New York. It's giga wealthy, like McMansions type of deal. Um, or like like hick towns like genuinely like we're talking like people with like 5,000 residents or giga 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 ones right the other thing it used to do was it was the the place you'd go to casinos so it was mohegan sun and foxwoods and you would go there to go to the casino resorts and but that changed though because Okay, Rhode Island has a uh, has a casino, but it's terrible, uh, and it's not like a resort casino; it's just a shitty casino. So that changes though, because now there's casinos in Massachusetts. So now there's no reason to go to Connecticut for a casino, unless you're just trying to 
switch it up, right? Um, so Connecticut's purpose at this point is just a, a buffer area that we share with New York. That's the answer at this point. I haven't been to Mohegan Sun. Me and Emong went to Foxwoods earlier last year because um, we went to the new Hell's Kitchen that opened up. And I wanted to go to Mohegan Sun because I wanted to get the Krispy Kreme, but we were so tired in the morning, we didn't go. With a swift, swift rotation down to the low ground, as Vestola took so much damage. Oh, and uh, yeah, they, that damage cannot be healed. Sadly. How was Hell's Kitchen? It was good. Yo, low key. Okay. All right. Fuck it. I'll tell you. I don't know if Emong's told you, but I'll tell you. Uh, me and Emong went to uh, Encore this weekend. Baby time. You know what Encore is? He's a nine months. Uh. I kind of forgot we should have took a photo uh, with our with our tickets. On court, on court, Ian, Ian, not Owen. Uh, it's a casino in Mass. Well, Imong went to like PAX, you know, so he was he was already, you know, in this area. But uh, yeah. Okay, so I told you guys I went out Friday, right? Well, I went. I got invited to um, Twitch's PAX after party, and listen, man, I don't not get in the biz. I do not get in the habit of shit talking Twitch, but that shit was awful. Like that was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Uh, I'm not gonna give you too many details, uh, but I'll tell you right now, I left in under five minutes. Because, like, they were waiting around, maybe under five the minutes. Cost of no, I'm not streaming on YouTube today because I have a sponsor yeah, in one hour. Um, feel really good about having that. It's really good about having this wall, too. Yeah, directly down the middle. So Sorry. Sorry about that. But just acting as a big shield. I can, I can, I can wait like two seconds. Right, I'll wait. I'll wait till your guys' ads are done. It's not a problem. We're just chilling watching this anyways. By the way, whoever told me not much Malga, fuck you. I'm looking at Malga and I'm big sad. They didn't commit anything into that fight. We're happy to just fight in the neutral there, go down, go again with the ult of their own. Well, I mean, the photon barrier splitting up the point like that, too, gave Ents so much free real estate to just pop their heads out, do some damage, without the fear that Twisted Minds would be able to dish that damage back. But now it's time for Twisted Minds to get ult. those alts on the board. Yeah, this overclock's what? super early. Zoning? I mean, it did force Ents to the point, and Quartz is in a nice little position here to get some uh, shots behind them. Crimson goes down to slay. Both sand barriers used, as well as that annihilation. And still trying to touch, but Vestola and the rest of the gang are just getting chunked. Wait, out. why did it take me this long to realize that Twisted Minds is like three fourths or three fifths of Saudi Arabia? Twisted Minds do end up getting a point cap, and Kai is getting a mad stagger. There you go. Okay, there's the dash through the ram. No boot kill, unfortunately, there from Kellex. But Streamer, please. I know. I know. I just, it took me so now to, like, fully. Oh. They're playing up because they have Cole and Pulse yep. They take a really early fight here. Oh, okay. No, they're backing off. Yeah, well, I know Kellex isn't. I know Kellex. Be too much. Maybe, they, maybe they're scared of uh, also the TP just straight past them. That would Teleport make the most sense rap. to me. Exactly, yeah. But Kai's already dead. Pulse ball from Yubi. This might just end it all. A coalescence from Slay. How are, they, how are they going to respond to this? They've got Can't say it was just short, Twisted Minds. But, but it was tw Twisted there. Minds plus Sir Majed, though, right? Twisted Minds are actually getting the... Uh, Full cap here and the hundred percent is ends do manage to find the flip. There's the late barrier from Kevster, goes up into the high ground using the teleporter to try and find a pick and ends. Uh, that that actually makes so much more sense now. Master to follow ends haven't got any healers left, and twisted minds just might have run away with this. They still need to clear ends off the ball off the point, but they've got the heals and the damage to do it, Rose. They do, and now you're gonna chase down these picks as well, as that's gonna be a big Wait, kick onto Kevster, finishing off this hold. I mean, Everybody's just trickling in now. Yep, that is it. Twisted Vines. They end up just I don't see what you're talking about, Danny. The point. I mean, Marza um, the managed to kill one, but Vestola, can he get the power up punch? He does, but hits the ram. Not the best target you want. Yeah, that's, that's actually that's Vines. tough on that punch. A coalescence. Oh yeah, that's another one. That's through this fight for Twisted Minds as they take map number one.
Wasn't looking too good from my map too. They kind of pulled that back. Good shit. Um. Oh yeah. So I I, I paused the story because of uh. You guys got ads, so I'll pick, I can pick back up. But uh, yeah. What was it? Where was I at? <clears throat> oh, I said I'm not in the habit of t shit talking Twitch, and I'm really not. Uh, but we went to this. I got invited to this Twitch after party thing and I went and it was awful. Like I left with I left five minutes in. I left five minutes in. It was that bad. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too many details, but when I saw the little food tray that they had that was fully empty and they had a bucket with two warm Bud Lights in it, I went, yeah, this is cooked. I'm leaving. Uh, um but I got invited to um, Warframes because uh, someone who used to work on the Overwatch team knew I knows I lived in Boston and was like, why don't you come? And I was like, okay. Theirs was actually pretty lit, uh, but it was so packed. They had good food. Their devs were there. They were actually like super, super nice people. They were they they knew their shit. And the line was honestly, I kind of felt a little bad. I felt a little bad, but like, not gonna lie, chat. It was kind of cool. It's the first time I've ever sat there as like a streamer and went, damn, this is actual unironic streamer privilege because the line to get in, it was connected to like the Westin, like a hotel. I'm not joking, went out the place, went all the way around, like towards like where the hotel rooms are, all the way around the escalators, all the way back around the rest of the fucking, you know, the lobby, came back around snakes through the lobby and then goes all the way to the door. And they just walked out and got us. We just walked right in. And I was like, oh my god. There's like f fucking 300 people, 400 people in line. And we just skipped all of them. I felt so, I've, I felt so bad. But at the same time, though, like... They came out and got us and brought us in. I was like, damn, dude. Uh, but they were super nice. Dude, they were so... I mean, I knew the person who was running the whole thing. Um, She's fucking awesome. Uh... But yeah, they were busy. Like, we didn't know, like, that many people. So it was just, like, me, Imong, his fiance, you know, stuff like that. Um, but we got good food. You know, we hung out for a bit. They had an open bar. Didn't really drink much, but they, they, they were awesome. I was glad they invited us. But once, like, the place got, like, packed enough that you couldn't, like, move, you know? Um, you, know you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, when you get to, like... You know what I'm talking about? When a place gets to the point where, like, you're kind of, like, constantly, like, trying to shimmy past people. Almost like, you ever been to, like, a really crowded bar or even a club? You know what I'm talking about? Like, it was starting to become kind of like that. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this anymore. Uh, so we peaced. And uh, we went to Encore, uh, which is this hotel, casino, resort in Boston. And, uh, you know, we had a little fun. Uh we 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 kind of you know may have lost a little money uh that's why you don't gamble we knew we did it just for fun though and we got food at this really really nice place this really 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 nice steakhouse uh that was awesome and yeah then we went then then i pizza went home it was a good time the, uh, the thing that the photo I was trying to tell you is I was trying to get Imong to hold his ticket because we both lost all that we both had a ticket for 25 cents and I was trying to get him to hold his ticket next to mine and take a photo of it so we could show chat and be like never gamble kids this is why <laughs> it's just the 25 cents <laughs> but yeah uh, I mean it didn't, didn't work. it was not much but you know house always wins yeah House always wins. Was it slots? Yeah, we played... Uh, I mean, it was the Emon Classic. We played... Uh, what's it called? There's like these bingo slot machines. And you know Emon with his bingo. Loves his bingo. So he's got to play the bingo slot machine. Uh, so we played the bingo slot machines. so good on Blizzard World. I'm shocked that they ended up actually banning that outright. The hero, or the map pools for so, this event have been fake, bro. You whack. Interesting to Stop, watch, dude. but Thanks, Hollywood buddy. is another one of those. Uh, well, yeah, we know it's rigged. Chat. I know it's rigged. I know it's rigged. Back back but uh, we, we lost like half my money that I brought to go, and I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go put the whole thing on. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay, so I brought like 200 bucks. When you go to a casino, you know you're gonna lose the money, right? Like. 
you go to a casino to lose the money. You don't go gambling to win. Like anyone who sells you, oh, gambling, you, no, it's supposed to be for fun, right? Same thing as going anywhere. Like if you win money, great, right? But like the point is like you go in, you're spending it on entertainment, right? You get a free drink, you know, some places have music, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, you never go to win money. If you win money, great, but that's not the point, right? So I brought in about 200 bucks and I was down about a hundred bucks and I said, fuck it. Let's I'm going to go put the last hundred Six months with the go I'm going to go put the last hundred on black Still two hours till M80 TML rematch. Yo, yeah. thanks to six months. Um, I don't know, actually. So I put my hundred on black and I was trying to find like a, a real place where they actually spin the thing, but there was none there. Like they were all filled. So we had to go to the fucking digital one. And I'm like, oh man, I don't trust the digital one for shit, dude. And he's like, oh, it'll be fine. I did it. It goes on red. I lose. There goes all my money for the day. So then Emong finishes his, cause his, uh, his, you know, his slot machine stuff. And he goes, I'm gonna do the same thing. Cause he lost a hundred bucks. And so he had a hundred bucks left. We both, we both went with 200. He's like, I'm gonna do it too. So he goes up, puts his whole thing on black. It lands on fucking green. I go, damn dude, that's even worse. Like, <laughs> you were so fucked. <laughs> I was losing it. I was like, damn, dude, at least I can I can say I pretty much lost the 50-50 shot. You got gig fucked. It didn't even matter what you chose. That's just disrespectful. Yes, there's two green. That's why your chance on roulette is 48%, right? Because you got 48% red, 48% black, and then it's 4% green because there's two greens. And so... It's landed on green and I was fucking dying! <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a shame because the sim, it can carry using No, what's funnier than 24? 25 like, smile. He's 25 months. I appreciate it. Exactly, uh, 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 how you feel about the next uh, hacked experimental being 6v6? Six six? I mean, that was literally. That was going to be one of my questions to Aaron, but they respectfully asked me not to ask any 66 questions at the time. Um, so I did not. So that should give you a pretty good idea of where I stand on it. At least trying it. I will say, though, I think at some point I'm probably going to go through all these freaking tweets of people who are like talking 5v5, 6v6, because I don't have a strong opinion. I just want to cover all of theirs and be like, you know, is it good? Is it bad? Kev's just back. Oh no, he's not. He's back in spawn again. I mean, Master's back. Oh no, he's not. He's back in spawn again. I mean, uh, Vestol is going to be able to come out and touch the points once more, but KSA could just hold this one down. Okay. I mean, Damn. Minds. Uh, speed run time. Five the Malga not Don't looking as good versus the uh, Ramatra as I expected, but I wonder how much is that is too. Uh, that they're just killing their backline so fast. Composition is the right choice to contest with this Ramatra. We already saw this on the like Malga versus Ramatra is really good, but I think their sustain is just so much better. That's why didn't you go pro? And what Overwatch? One, I was not good enough. Two, uh, I have no desire to at all. Fossilbot, you are a stinky little trash can box. The fact that you are out here telling me a face I made is a different language is actually insane. You get no beaches, Fossilbot. All you get is the taste of failure for you taking the face I made and timing me out. I don't care that it was 60 seconds. You're getting put on blast. Dude, flaming Fossilbot is actually insane. You should be busy watching the match instead of timing me out for making a face. For reference, this is all a joke. I'm stupid. Nah, nah. Flame that bot. Stand on business. Fuck him. Fuck the bot. Dude, these AIs rising up, timing us out of chat. Next, they're gonna steal our jobs. Good time to use it as soon as this wall ends up going down, but look at how charged Kevster is. Just permanent tier three. I'm with him. Theme. F the bots. Just a melting. Thanks for 14 months. I appreciate it. Wall's down. Now they can push. Flats is going first and AI takes over. Oh, yeah, for sure. Swiss of mine's enemies in the call. I'd imagine they use it. Or they use it first. They just try and push them all the way back. Buying as much time as they feasibly can. They've already knocked two minutes off the time back. 
Still have a while to go. Oh no, this three is... minutes remaining for Twisted Minds, but you can tell just how much damage Kevster is able to do when you've got this beautiful setup. Would you those turrets are always going to be helping to find value to help Kevster stay charged up, and he is microwaving people. All right, can't echo the drive there from Bastardo as he pushes forward, but that coalescence is going to split the team at least somewhat. Sound barrier. For both <clears throat> Sponsor day might be Bestodo interesting, it looks like. Chat, why do, you, why do you think we're still here grinding so much Overwatch right now? We ain't got time to swap games in the next year or two. In the next year or two, we're going to be replaced by AI streamers. What are we going to do then? No, and this is the same problem that Ants was facing on the end of that second point, is that KSA has this annihilation, and it's right at the end of the road, where Ents do not have any choice except to... Fossilbot, I would also like to shit on you. To add on, I was just talking about the 5v5 and 6v6 debate, but because I might have forgot to space after a period, you timed me out acting like it was a link. This is why you can never take my job as an accountant cause your professional judgment is ass. Shit to making sus AI art and helping college students write their boring essays. Fuck you, Fossil. That one felt personal! That actually felt personal! 19 meters woo. Thanks, Anazi. Appreciate the 19 months. Holy fuck, that felt personal. Great pick. God damn, the bot's getting dunked on. I'm here for it. Meters from Twisted Minds, but even though the Annihilation didn't come online in time to oh. use it in that last fight, they've got it now. So same problem remains where they're going to be walking into an Annihilation from KSA if they want to contest this card. There's the cage. Oh, she's okay. Is it going to last all too long? And yeah, that's a guaranteed fight win, especially in a choke. You know what this stream is missing? Oh, no. I think we're missing some good music, so I present this absolute banger. Women holding hands. 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 Holding hands. Of course Women Violet shows up when chaos is unleashing. Hands. Women holding hands. It's like you smell it. Women holding hands. 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 Can this annihilation actually get the More job done right now? You've got the coalescence at your back. KSA can go pop the annihilation. Nah, not the nose emote. Oh now. my goodness. How ends have charged up these alts. <sighs> Thanks, Stonks. <clears throat> oh man. Are they actually going to be able to find the Kevster TPing Vestola out of danger as we approach overtime? I don't know if I missed anything else uh, from this weekend. We've really seen Ed start to clutch up this defense. The big thing here with Crimson has always been the usage of those Kitsune rushes. Oh, now I made the greatest the decision, this really decision ever. I didn't I didn't drive into Boston. I decided to Uber in this time. I made the experience like a bajillion times better. None of my Uber drivers knew how to drive. Oh, oh, I did forget to tell you guys something. I did forget my Uber drive home. All right, Uber drive home uh, at like, I don't know, like midnight, right? I was a little, you know, I wasn't drunk, but I, I had a few drinks, right? So I'm feeling chill, you know? I had a couple drinks with, the, the, with dinner, I had a couple drinks before, you know what I mean? Uh, and dude, I, no, I, mean, to be fair, I got the nice the Uber. You know what I'm talking about? Like the big point, black SUV one? I'm like, hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was more expensive, but it was either a 45 minute wait for a regular Uber or it was a three minute wait for the SUV. I was like, I'll take the SUV. Fuck it, dude. I want to go home now. Uh, so I got that, right? You get that it's not a limo, time. it's it's a it's fucking suburban. So much time. But anyways, and we started driving. Bro, this guy was going 80 the through the tunnel. The and if you know minute, going through like some of the tunnels in Boston, they are pretty sharp curves. And this dude's going like 80, 85 through one of the curves, like to the point where like you're kind of like sucked against the window. And then he hits the monstrous pothole, like the biggest pothole that's ever existed. And I will snap my fucking neck on the roof. Cause like, we were like, I was like kind of leaning into it. And then boom, it's like, oh, fuck. I was like, holy shit. And even the guy goes, oh. And I 
I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then he continues to go like 85 the whole way through the tunnel. And I was like, please, please hit the straightaway. Please hit the straightaway. Please hit the straightaway. And then no more than 30 seconds later, my guy got scared of air. Air. Actual air. And I didn't realize until I got out of the car that he was a little old. Like, this guy was, like, in his 60s, probably. And he was, like, going to change lanes. Like, he had his blinker on, and he went to change. And then he just, like, fucking jerked it back. And I went, whoa! And I looked. Because I was like, oh, is there somebody in his blind spot he didn't see? Nope. Not a, nobody fucking there. And then at the end of the ride, he turned and looked at me and goes, make sure to give me five stars. Yes! They actually unironically did do that. And I said, you're going to be lucky I don't leave any stars. I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm going to pretend I didn't take this ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so uh, other than that, though, it was actually the right play. I didn't have to park anywhere. I didn't have to deal with bullshit. It was great. The point is so enclosed, it's really rough for this... Uh, for the no, the, the air, the air, getting scared of air actually sent me, dude. I was, I was, I was completely just in awe. Yeah, we're seeing the power of where and wanted to take those. Leave a review. I'm happy to write this review because I'm alive. <laughs> that would be actually so funny. Five stars. I'm lucky. I'm happy to be able to write this. I'm alive after this car ride. Like you can't tell if it's actually like a diss or not. Uh, super thing that he wants. Appreciate. And ends up killing the CP as well after a little while, right? For, for Zot, Other than the reckless cool. driving, it was a great ride. Dude, it was yeah, nice, so, though. It was nice. Is, uh, I liked it. Like, the car? I understand why they're a little bit more expensive yeah, now. Mines, they, they kinda had it was a nice ride. Too, I mean, other than the driver, of course. The guy, the driver was a little interesting, but it was comfy. I got an Uber once and friend and the guy immediately proceeded the trauma dump. But how much his ex-wife hated him? Oh, that seems good. I flats watch OWCS if you miss me. Boop actually from Marta stopping quartz getting an angle on Vestola. Late death as well. Couldn't find anything else to watch. Back in with a tower slide, but the setup is really where you might see Twisted Mind struggle, knowing that Kevster. The trauma dump Uber drivers or something. You know what's funny though? I've never had anyone like that. I've taken a good amount of Ubers for like, you know, like BlizzCon or traveling for for stream stuff, right? Like I travel, I travel way more now for stream stuff than I've ever done in my whole life, right? I've had to take tons of Ubers for that. Dude, I think I just scare people. I think the average person doesn't want to talk to me half the time. <clears throat> they don't see a fucking word. Like, you know how it says, like, on the app when you do like, prefer, like, temperature, do you have bags, would you like conversation? I just leave that always blank. They don't, they don't say a fucking word. Ever. Ever. Like, when I get in the car, it's like, <clears throat> I'm like, this for Jeff? Because you're, you're supposed to, like, say your name first, you know, to, like, check. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, hey, how are you? And they're like, good, how are you doing, sir? And I'm like, yeah, good. And that's it. Nothing else for the rest of the ride. It's just a thank you at the end. <laughs> Nothing else. No one ever says a beep. No. No, I don't reckon. I don't get recognized like at all. The only, the only recognition I get nowadays in person is I get dudes, like dudes who who look at my truck and they like they like nice truck, dude. That thing's nice. That thing's sweet. That's the attention I get. <laughs> That's it. It's like a dude magnet. And after the annihilation got <clears throat> used, oh hoo -hoo. Hello, goodbye. We flipped the map. Quartz is already dead. Not like, oh my god, you're... No, that doesn't happen. Are they going to invest? It looks like they're going to. I'm glad it doesn't, if I'm honest. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind, like, if someone knew me, like, yeah, you can say hi, you know what I mean? I don't mind that. I'm just saying, like, you know, I'd rather... 
Half the time, I'm just like fucking off. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, dude, I'm like zoned out. I'm trying to like get groceries or grab some gas or some stupid shit. Like, I'm not paying attention. Good cage there by the Malga. Oh, Quartz managed to get a. Well, they're playing Malga v Malga now. Manchester's at least score a shot onto Quartz, who's gonna have to rush into the spawn. Someone's gonna have to touch here for Twisted Chat, who lied to me? I should have seen more Malga than anything else so far today! Guys! You told me no Malga! And slack the damage and the capability to actually finish off kills now. So Twisted Minds with that single kill managed to You should just plug your Twitch each time you leave, leave an Uber? No. Dude, I've got a whore, I've got a worse story. Okay? So last time I was in LA for BlizzCon, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I took an Uber one time. It was like me, Iman, um, Lonnie, and then there was, I think, it was it Bulger? I don't remember. There was two people, there was two other people that I, I let take with us. Um, and the guy was like asking what we do, like why was there so many people in the area? And I'd made the mistake of telling him. And this guy proceeds to like, won't let me out of the car type of deal because he had to tell me about um, how him or his friend do this thing where <clears throat> chat you'll know what i'm talking about you ever seen those like tiktok streams where they're just like selling items where it's like almost like qvc style you get what i'm talking about so they do that, but like with one person and they just auction off like retro shit or whatever. And this guy was like, oh, like you have a lot of followers. You could totally just sell them all this stuff. And like, he's just like, he's like, we get to the fucking hotel. And I'm like, okay, like have it going. He's like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. And like, I'm like, no, no, I gotta go. And he's like, no, 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 it only take two minutes. And he pulls out his phone. He's like trying to show me. He's like, see, you just sit here and you know, the, people come in and you, you know, you have them auction, you set the price. And I'm like, dude, it's just not clicking. And I just like was like, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go. And he's like, no, no, no like one more miss, one second, one second. And like I'm literally halfway out of the car, like leaning back. And poor Emong and everyone else is just sitting there watching me struggle. And then I was just like, all right, yeah. And then. He asked when we were leaving, and I said, oh, like, you know, we leave, we leave tomorrow morning. And uh, he was like, oh, like, here's my card. Call me in the morning, and we can talk more about it on the, on the ride to the airport. And I was like, yeah, sounds good. I did not fucking call that number. <laughs> I did not call that number. Uh, it's a grand thing of the 10 months. Senpai, Azale, thing of the 2 one. I appreciate it. Holy. Oh man! Holy! He's just one of the best hits games in the world right I'm now. Like, I know he's so good. Uh, he was the best. I wasn't even trying to get dinner. I was just trying to go home. He's still I was trying to go home. The best soldier in We're trying to get back to the fucking hotel. And this is just why being able to get those clutches. Busman's still selling really pretty better. rocks on TikTok he's Live. So yep. Locked in and he doesn't falter yep. Under the pressure of knowing that it's on his shoulders. Actually, speaking of TikTok, dude, TikTok got fucked recently. Seventeen seconds. Uh, honestly, could be a big. I don't want to fucking see your ad. Fuck your ad. What ultimates are able to come online first but that's plenty of time here for a rush from crimzo did they they the finally took the creator beta out of pick, or a creator program out of beta and, and it just cratered the entire thing is nice and you also get to be on the defense first. holy fuck yeah it's just the minds that have to set the pace did my revenue from tiktok is down like over 50 percent now <sighs> i was making a little bit of money on tiktok now i'm now i'm not now it's back in the red Feels bad. When they did defend, uh, that other <sighs> didn't really work out too well. I mean, twisted minds. And Isn't TikTok getting banned, or is that just made up? Uh, it uh, probably is. Fights a lot recently uh, on the tracer. Let's go for a twisted mind. What you say? Real quick. They've only got a minute to play. Ever tell your driver your actual time. departure slash date and time? They can show up again, especially if you're in not flat. You can probably defend yourself just fine. Oh yeah, no. I mean, like when I when I said they were leaving tomorrow, uh, I was leaving at like six in the morning. But I made it imply that like we're leaving later in the morning when I said to him, I was like, oh yeah, we're leaving like tomorrow morning. And I was like, yeah, I can call you later on. Or I was like, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll text you later on when, when we're ready. So, all right, sounds good. 
Nice, 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 guys. Damn. They're kind of rolling. TikTok for you page is going on YouTube and letting autoplay pick your video. 99% of the time, it's dog shit. I don't know how anyone has it on following over YouTube or for, over for you. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, having it on following over for you you mean or the other way sometimes it just be like that though uh, yeah, i just want to get an early contest here though so this card doesn't get too much progress they're not coming in with too much though and you you shorts actually a great viewer base by numbers Wilson. the algorithm on youtube oh, is trash um the thing on youtube is it's slow this pop talk has me reminiscing on the galactic war with those no good oil oh yeah 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 buckets clankers death to the box is it that way see when i when i was in school i learned basically with the greater than less than which is like which way is the alligator chomping <laughs> I don't know if that's right anymore. Um, but yeah, no, I my for you page is fucking toast nowadays. I've actually started using TikTok less than I used to. I used to really, really enjoy it, but now I don't enjoy it as much. It's just when I don't have any anime to watch. Oh my goodness. Holy fuck. Court's back at it again from World Cup. Maybe you watching recently? Um, what am I watching? And can they even watching Shangri Shangri La Frontier? Um, and it is. And now they are trying to draw the line. Solo leveling. So deep into uh, Firen. territory. And it might just have to be here. Took in Michi. Wrong way to use healing magic. Shangri La. Apothecary Diaries. Classroom of the Elite. And I think that's all I'm watching, actually. Yeah, I think that's all I'm watching. They have put up a yeah, but I watched dub so Freeman isn't over. <laughs> okay. After messing around with this emote on Xbox and seeing how everyone got tired of ye old classic women holding hands, I got a new one to try, Chinese for secrecy. I'm not sure if it worked. <laughs> Fuck is that? It's uh, it sucks too because like if you're. Uh, did you watch Castlevania? Side, no, I didn't. <sighs> no, I didn't. You can put down. Or watch Vinland Saga? Okay, yep. Like we can actually. Believe watching dub. I think I think at this point, there. the but dub versus sub stuff is so that. fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. It made so sense in 2014. It made sense in 2014 when like dubs hadn't really become a thing in the West very much. It was still kind of new. But now we're in 2024. So yeah, sometimes some voice actors overlap, but that happens in Japanese uh, dub, uh, or Japanese anime as dubs as well. So like, fuck off. You know, fuck off. See what they're gonna rock up with. Probably just the Malga again, if I had to guess. Or you're just a you're just a gatekeeper. That's it. I'm sorry. Just a gatekeeper. Okay, little Hanzo, maybe a little peek uh, with the with the arrows or whatever, but. I really want Kev's drawn a carry hero here. I really yeah, a lot of dubs are really good. Hey, like, I always say, like, listen, Sorry, when you see random TikTok clips I, I of, like, Dragon Ball so stuff that. or of uh, uh, of Naruto stuff, it's almost always dubbed. Just saying. There's a reason, because the dubs are pretty damn good. And those are just the big, big ones, you know? I've learned Flats will do anything to not read. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you... I'm glad you've learned so much about me. Holy fuck. Ends end up losing this first fight as Twisted Minds are able to swing out and pick off Kai. And you could hear the disappointment in Kai's voice there at the very end of that uh, team comm, isn't it? 
Yeah, like a heal me, anything, try to follow up on a pick. They are able to get UB out, but UB is still at the teleporter. He's going to be back in this fight, no problem. A little bit of healing here to try to take some poke to get this rush online, but it's going to come down to a neutral pick. It did manage to get a touch. Port's in trouble, but he just uh, ascends the high ground. UB's taking oh, the sim just walking at the Arissa, dude. That's a feels bad. You're just dead. You're literally just dead. The Suze is too good. The healing is too good. There's nothing, nothing Ents can do against Quartz. Nothing can shut him down. Oh man. Twisted minds hold. Dude, Quartz is just wild. Take the lead in this that guy is crazy. Two O start for Twisted Minds as Ents go down on first on Hollywood after a ridiculous push as well from Twisted Minds on their uh, second attack. This has been a very different look than what we saw in yesterday's Have you watched the clip of the full stadium in Mexico watching DBS? No, I haven't seen what clip you're talking about, but I, 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 I can imagine it. I know about it's how powerful it is there. Uh, I miss much? Oh, it's the beginning of Coliseum. There's not, not, no more action for at least another minute. Kester's Symmetra still look really good, especially if you're going to be stalling out in the neutral like this, set up the turrets. Yeah, there's no action for at least another minute. In with all of that extra DPS power. More Mauga! Sometimes it does help just to dislodge people that uh, have set up bunker and these little small, uh, small little outlets. Vortex is quite annoying to kind of deal with as well, but Kepster, yeah, he's going to have to TP across. Doesn't want to test Quartz's railgun accuracy. I wouldn't either, to be fair. Crimzo killing Slay. It's actually a big kill. kill. From pretty much everybody, I would imagine. I love how the turret is just its own tank now. Or not the turret, the TP. Block, 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 this Swiss Mines is still finding kills somehow with Quartz finishing off Marta with a disrupt shot and then Keller's going, uh, okay, they just turned that fight completely. We don't block, 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 block. of our heals because Slay's dead, but sure, we're just going to win the fight anyway. Just, uh, just Swiss Mind things, I suppose. Of course, it's just crazy. Is maybe the answer to that problem seven times out of ten and it's working out great block for more. Mines. they're getting some meaningful push bot progress and they also get a chance to set up on the high ground but that's where this teleporter from capster can really come into play they force twisted minds back and also force them out into the open as and have to walk forward to take this contest so they're taking so much damage mm -hmm. from the ball spot. Mm -hmm. Just teleport a little fakey. Vesto is stepping up with one HP. He needs heals. He needs heals bad. See, oh, oh. Well slay. Yeah, shut down mid coalescence. Tried to rip it to get the heals back, but that was in his sights. risky. A little bit more of a back and forth. Low HP pop and call. See a full disengage here from Twisted Minds. Uh, they want to be able to come back in with KSA. I feel like the arms have just been uh, so nice to have to be able to sit there and T-pose in front of Vestola's Malga. It does soak up quite a bit of damage. Oh, they TP height. Wait, that's actually kind of smart. Wait, that's actually so smart. The boy's in the middle of the map too. So they're going to be able to get some decent meterage here. But if there's one thing that Twisted Minds do extremely well is get random stray kills at the very end, but without their DPS and without anything else, not sure that's God damn. And there you go. Finally, Ents get the bot going. It's going to be matching the meterage here of mm -hmm. Twisted Minds, potentially even getting the lead, but Kevster with this photon barrier, I feel like this is just such a big tool to have against the sight lines of courts. And even if not to shut down the oh overclock, God, you're still shot. okay. Was it just me or you could see how much the ping was there? Because he fired and then like died like that, like a full half a second later it felt like. Good work. Yo. Question, how would you feel about just buffing what isn't meta instead of nerfs? Since buffs are indirect nerfs to others that nobody talks about. If nobody talks about the nerfs, then nobody gets mad about them. Yeah, that's how you have power creep. I feel like you saw the same pirate software short, which I don't necessarily like. I see his point, but I don't think that gate works in a game like Overwatch. 
That works in a game probably like Helldivers. But we, when you have an eight-year-old game like Overwatch at this point, or almost eight-year-old game, that's how you have significant power creep. And I mean, even where we are today is kind of a result of it, right? Like they, when they made the season nine patch, everything got buffed, nothing got nerfed, but they offset it by giving everyone bigger HP pools. And so, I mean, my, I actually asked this question of them and was like, why are you buffing everything instead of uh, nerfing, right? Um, and it was kind of like, well, it's just about breakpoints being easier to work with. Which I, I don't necessarily think is a wrong answer. Um, it's not. But I also think you could have breakpoints the opposite way, just slightly more work. You be just doing what, uh, when he talks about how sad it is to see where Overwatch has been recently near the end of Apex hack analysis, no way we're still catching trays. I didn't see what you're talking about. I didn't see it. It's quite annoying uh, when you get hit by the round to be fair, and uh, with the annihilation, it's going to be even more annoying for Ents to kind of deal with. Nice little 180 punches. KSA I think we've, I think we're at a crossroads right now in Overwatch, where like the community is about to, about to shatter, low key. I think it's about to shatter into two really, really, really aggressive camps of 6v6 or 5v5. Maybe even just going in to watch oh, the teleporter team, oh, but at least it's a little bit of damage. Stick. No Suzu to help Kevster out, and that's checkpoint for sure. Yeah, it's going to be uh, just a little bit of a stall here from Vestola, but there is the is probably feels better to see increase from 10 to 15 instead of 1 to 1.5. Play from Twisted Minds to know where the top is going to be. You saw KSA wrap around to be able to lay down that I guess I, I, will, I don't think we're arguing the same thing. You're talking about bigger increases as opposed to nerfs, because like even your second one isn't a nerf, but whatever you're talking about right but uh, i think it's a slippery slope in my personal opinion i think that's how like things kind of spiral quickly it's kind of like kicking the can further down the road someone else's problem do you think the player base is about to shatter i think the argument for 60 66 versus 5v5 is going to be insane think about it tank is the worst experience at this point and it's not even close right um and most of the people that argue for 6v6 are former tank players most people that are not like her anti 66 are not tank players if you've noticed um can get all charged up but twisted minds are gonna try and get out of there but a quick teleport but a good move a really hell actually even maybe it's actually tank and support players i feel like it's mostly dps players who thinks six v six is a terrible idea and they're not wrong either because 6v6 Q times were insane, right? 6v6 Q times were absolutely stupid. And realistically, Q times is one of those things that, like, you can't even play the game. What's the point of it's being good, you know? If you have to wait 20 minutes to play a game, nobody's going to do that. doesn't matter if the game's good. They have the cage fight coming online here for Vestola. Kai with another overclock. He's been pumping but, out damage. And there's, there's like there's more arguments for both sides. Like some people come in and they say, "Well, what about all the characters that were made for five v five? They're not going to work in six v 6 And it's like, "Yeah, no fucking shit, stupid." Like, <laughs> what about all the characters that didn't didn't work in five v five that had to be reworked? Are we just going to pretend that didn't happen? Or, uh. <laughs> Yeah, of course it would be a lot of work. Uh, of course it would be. Like, uh, come on, let, let's let's be let's be reasonable here. Um, which is why I think that the arguments lie way more on like Q times, way more on like health of the game, more on like would six v six all of a sudden make Overwatch a better experience? And I I don't think it would. I don't. I think people are coping out of their mind if they think 6v6 would save the game quote unquote you're, you're coping out of your mind 
And then people make arguments about like balance, right? And I actually don't disagree that Overwatch 6v6 didn't get a good shot at balance, but you could kind of make that argument with 5v5 too. Is that in a lot of ways it didn't, it hasn't gotten a really long term fair shot with good balance. You know? Yeah, just mid fight. You have uh, such a big meter advantage in terms of having that checkpoint already activated for your side. With 40 seconds left, Twisted Minds just have to play defensive. And with all of the ultimates that they still have held onto, they might just be able to close out the map here. And now that's going to be four with Slays going. SCB's idea of 5v5 with choosing either have one or two tanks for teams getting more appeal by the day. Yeah, but. No. And, and I, I love SVB, but the answer no is because if you're playing to win very quickly, people would just realize pick two tanks. Like, there wouldn't be a reason to not pick two tanks. Like, two tanks would become so much better than one tank, it wouldn't even be close. And then you'd have to be thinking about, like, do you balance tanks the way you currently balance them in open queue, where they're, like, kind of low-key useless unless you just hard stack them together? You know, and it's like then at that point, if you're playing two tanks, you have to be playing some type of super synergistic comp. And even at that point, like it's not even a guarantee of like you're going to even be able to have any impact, you know, because then your supports have to double up on on their support role. And then DPS is probably going to pick something like May or Sim so you can run at them, you know. But like if that's what people do, you'll be oppressive and you'll run everybody else over. Right. It's just I think Aaron made a good point when I talked to Aaron. Was like tanks have always been a problem in Overwatch, you know. But the forward spawns are the most important part of being able to grab that checkpoint. So Ents will be able to come back into this one with pretty equal spawn advantage to Twisted Minds. But Twisted Minds has sped in here with the amp it up while team members of Ents are still coming back to the point. ENC is not looking too good. Yeah, they're gonna see sign. See them. No, they don't get there in time. It looked like it was yeah, and they walked the bot away from it. That's crazy. Down and twisted minds now on match point. Have they got the answer? Hey, okay, Flex, say, how are you doing today? And what well, do you think of the new the hero game? that digs underground? I think it will be very buggy. Time will tell. How do you know that? It's been a rough, rough journey. For Thanks for 10 months. This series how do you know that? This series. It's been rough. See what, uh, I don't think there's the been many characters that get released that are super buggy in Overwatch. Ooh. Yeah, they can have bugs in them, but like, I don't, I don't think about that. I don't think so. If there's anything I would be pretty confident in, is I would argue it probably will not be buggy. It might just be running the mirror and just simply being better. That Mauga did not. Do mains have arrived? That KSA has been okay. So to be fair, though, on, and Doom's bugginess really is not box. what the average player considers bugginess. The only time I would argue when it's actually legitimately really buggy are like when you use your E on the ground. And it doesn't actually hit anything because you landed on like the smallest raised surface or uh like punching people into walls and they like slightly slide off that's what i would argue probably most players see go what the fuck is that a bug but if you're talking about like the hyper complicated um stair slam off of a, a, a head boop archway 360 turn you know with a with a small dynamic angle listen man i i applaud them for how fucking smart they are with like the doom text and stuff like that but i i would just i wouldn't say like that's it's the same i don't think it's fair to even say it's, it's the same most of the bugs are fixes for text that blizzard clearly doesn't want in the game yeah and it, it, it depends on who's who's fucking talking about it who's working on it i think half the time uh mac five bear thinks prime don't don't let Slay kill someone with an orb. Okay, you're good. There's the quick cap. Nice smart rotation from Kevster too. Just uh, knowing the rest of his team can clean up the rest of that fight, so they try and get the cap ASAP. So 50% of the building now for Ents. Decent time. Uh, anonymous the, uh, fast psyche here 16 months. months. I think I did. Mock bear thinks again for Prime. Uh, um so 40% so quite low uh, when you when you're considering how uh, quickly they build up or the flashpoints build up. Yeah, it should, it should be, even if like Twisted Minds get this uh, flip, then and should be able to come back into this one if right. the fight is short enough. But and they do have four alts to throw at this and uh, going close to that victory. Good stick. Oh, Yubi kills two. Kai and Crimzo just stacking on top of each other. And that is a fight winner. 
Quartz doesn't have to do much now. Can just sit back, mm -hmm. relax, and watch UB do the rest. It took like six years to fix Shatter. What are you talking about? Twisted Minds regain control. I mean, uh, fix well, Shatter. One way for the fight to be quick is um, if you just get a double with the pulse, you'd be so sick with it. But and they did only expend the coalescence, so they still have firepower coming back in. But this is what we were talking about even before that fight is. And have one more shot. They can come in and they can contest. Sound barrier at the ready as well. The shield in your foot blocking shatter. Uh, that wasn't always the case though. Something's definitely changed when Overwatch 1 went to Overwatch 2. I've always felt it, but I've never been able to like truly put it into words. I'll give you a good example. Pin doesn't feel the same. Pin to me feels so different in Overwatch 2 than it does in Overwatch, and it did in Overwatch 1. I don't want to use the word buggy, it just doesn't feel right. Is there anybody from Tristan Minds that can touch? I mean, maybe, but it's looking quite unlikely they win that fight, so a complete back off here, and Ents end up taking the lead on Servasa. Okay, well, uh, the last time we did see both of these teams on this map, it was Ents that got the victory, but this Pulse Bomb is so nasty. Crimson got stuck walking Like, for Shatter, I always felt like it was either the center of the Shatter was where it started, or it was the point that was closest to you, but now it's, like, the furthest point of your character model. But it also might be at the furthest point of your character model at the beginning of the ultimate. So it doesn't matter where you hit the button or hit the slam, it's about where you hit the Q. Which is like, so you start the momentum, which is just weird. But like those types of things, like, all that's been like lost at this point. We can't go back to Overwatch 1 and compare and be like, okay, where was this? Where was this? I guess you could from like maybe videos that exist, but even that would be really difficult. They are in the game. They brought them back in the game. What are you talking about? Overwatch 2 is the new player. It's for the new players, the Zoomers. Frito couldn't be more right about that. Aware. There's definitely way more nowadays, yeah. Although we are kind of the boomer. It's weird. We're both the boomer game. We're the boomer game. But also, like, get one more shot at being able to come in and recontest this point. UB is another false bomb, so maybe it's also the Zoomer game. It's weird. Minds, but not if Kevster can pop it first. We're like the someone from Twisted Minds is it's weird. Right that is, uh, We're Gen Z's side piece. That's so fucked up, dude. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Like, anytime there's no Fortnite update or. Uh, no Roblox update or, you know, no big v Valorant update. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of not wrong. Yeah, I think all the all the old people in Overwatch are all the tank and support players. How do you still enjoy Overwatch? Because I, I, I scale it. When I'm not enjoying it, I don't play as much. When I am enjoying it, I'll play a ton. So, like, for example, the start of Season 9, dude, I was having a blast. I locked the fuck back in, had a great time. Then Malgamet had happened, and now I have absolutely zero desire to play. <laughs> zero. So, uh, I would expect in the next couple weeks, uh, a lot of content farming. Someone help him. The Annihilation did a fair amount of work, and here comes the later coalescence. Everybody grouped up in that small room. The Pulse Bomb landing onto KSA. Taking pretty low, but he can't get finished off. He's just hiding. I'm glad I got nerfed, like, very quickly. Like, it was, like, it was the right thing to do, but it still killed it for me. It's actually Yubi that comes up with the first fight of this uh, team fight, the first kill of this team fight, as Master just walks into that Pulse Bomb. A flip that enters OT ticks down. Yubi tries to find another touch here to help KSA on that point, but a struggling tank player and a DPS that has to hit that recall. It's looking a struggling tank player should just be something I get on a uh, pillow. Twisted minds right now, as that overtime will tick down as Yubi eventually ends up getting finished off. So any quarters left, but this will be Ents taking the point here, going 2-0. The series almost slipping out of their hands, but very much uh, picking it back up right now. And ready and waiting for this next uh, rotation for Twisted Minds, but it looks like 
Should you play quick play with Karki and Pocky while he plays Reaper and chase Malgas across the Overwatch landscape. Yeah, but quick play gets boring really quickly. Um, I know Karki does not like playing quick play. He does it because I want to play it sometimes, just to like try, just do something different. Um, but yeah, it gets boring after a while. I understand. I think it'll be better when eventually we have a streamer mode, which I'm hoping actually does pop off in Season 10. Because uh, if we actually did have a legitimate streamer mode, I think I could probably enjoy it a little bit more. Because, like, you know what I'm talking about. You've been there, chat. Dude, getting hunted around the map for hours is just awful. Sound barrier from Kellex making sure they can stay alive on this point against this coalescence as they uh, now try and flood onto it. Slays in big trouble, ends up going down to the disruptor shot as Vestola tries to push KSA out. And the KSA uses all here. Unless he really feels like he can win it, but without Kellex, without Slay, there's no chance to stay alive. But Twisted Minds still make it hurt somewhat. 41% in the time uh, in the percent bank now. Similar situation to what we saw in that second flashpoint, though, where if the fight's fast, and could be able to come back I hate how much people stream some emailing on the mischief thing. The oh, I mean, it was happening to both of us. Like, uh, That's why he stopped playing it. Barrier, that is such a but yeah, he got it pretty bad. I uh, think splitting tanks roll into main and off could have saved 6v6. Well, you, you, you put the queue time even higher. Uh... No, just going for a reset by the looks of it there. Kai was just <sighs> bobbing and weaving in and out of quartz's just uh, AD strafing as well. Oh, no, 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 no. You get a pick there, that I would lose my lose my mind if that Widow shot hit. But yeah, I mean, Kai was just a square I can't tell if Runaway you're talking to me or somebody else, because like, I feel like we talked about Doomfist like five minutes ago, like very quickly, and I, I, don't, I don't have a strong opinion on it. Speaking of annihilation, I don't even think I really even said very much. KSA, but unfortunately, Yubi's already dead. Oh, that sound oh okay, talk to someone else. I, mean, that's the I was gonna say, uh, listen, man, I'm, uh, <laughs> I know people like to argue with me and stuff, but I, I really didn't even think I said anything. <laughs> I really didn't think I said anything. <laughs> not, not that that's serious. Um, um, yeah, hopefully Sherman would come soon. It'd be a good time. Anything's better. Maybe. We'll see. At the same time, chat, like, real, 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 real talk. I kind of want to do more variety again. Uh, Major best thing the 25 months. Appreciate it. I'm kind of getting to that point, you know? Where, like, I, I'm, I enjoy playing Overwatch. Uh, but I don't think I can all in it anymore. I think I think I'd probably we just do some bursts. You know what I mean? What's up, Guru? Ramatra, Ramatra. We love the Ramatra from Yeah, Vistola. Shade's been trying to get me to do Hell Divers. I told her I actually would this week at some point. Any games you're thinking about playing? I don't know. So much engagement pressure. I got invited to um and it's a Twitch Rivals Apex. I haven't accepted it yet, but I got invited. Well, but so maybe we'll play so a couple days of Apex this week. What exactly is a stream mode? Stream mode is like the thing you turn on when you load into a game and it doesn't say flats. It says like, you know, if I'm playing Reinhardt, it says Reinhardt, right? Um, that way you don't load into a game and someone sees, oh, is that flats? And then they go immediately look at my Twitch. And then start stream sniping me or chasing me around the map looking for clips or whatever. Because like, I'm not really worried about stream snipers. Like, there's not many people who watch my stream trying to snipe my games, and most of the people who actually do that are actually super nice people. It's more of the stream ghosting, which is like, aka, people, I load into a match and then they recognize me and then they go from there. Um, cause like, stream sniping is very different, right? Like, stream sniping are people, you know, sniping has been so bad recently. I don't know how much you've had, Guru, but like, dude, in, like, I started, like, you know, I was playing, like, more ranked again. Dude. I started every once in a while, if I f was a little sus, like when we swapped sides, I'd, I'd just mute my audio and swap to full cam, and then they'd walk out and they were like, not on a complete counter comp, and I was like, hmm, you were on a complete counter comp last time, like out of spawn, this time you're not even close. Interesting, and then they instantly would swap out of that first fight, and I'd go, ah, okay, okay, I understand what's happening here. Yeah, and it, dude, it makes you feel like you're crazy. 
And if I sit there, if I say anything, you get, especially on drop days, dude. On drop days, if I say anything, you get some fucking 12-year-old who's like, bro, you're just fucking coping. They're not stream sniping. Dude, they're just better. And it's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, we walked out on, like, the most intricate Arisa comp, and Arisa's not even meta, like, at that time. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, everyone's playing Queen. We walked out on Torb Arisa. What? Like, and they, they walked out on a perfect counter comp. I should hide my screen the next round, and all of a sudden, they were lost. What are you smoking? It's just, oh, man, drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, what's up, Ruben? Yeah, I, I, the quick play one's just annoying, right? Because you got, like, kids that are actually just chasing you around the map the entire time. Like, chasing. Like, it's it's not very hard to go, hmm, something's wrong here when I'm in spawn, and I hear a Lucio outside and a Tracer and, like, a Genji just sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to walk out that spawn door. And then, like, one of the peaks, like, looking for you. And I'm like, oh, hey, hey what's going on, dude? <laughs> you, know, you know, the game's being played over there, right? Do they have a back pocket May that maybe will help to build that up? And what tank? But yeah, I think we'll probably play some. We have the sponsor in a couple minutes. Uh, probably, I might do the Twitch Rivals Apex. Might do some Helldivers this week. I think, we're, I think we're gonna mix it up this week. Have a good time. You know. <sighs> Gotta do the Twitch Rivals. Yeah, it's Twitch Rivals Apex, you know, and it's like I'm down. But dude, you know what? You know what's the worst, dude? When you're the worst player on your team, you know what I mean? And like, it's kind of designed for that because it's gonna be like pro player. Masters of above player diamond and below player and I fall under the diamond and below player because I haven't played in years um, Not realistically and the last time I did play I think I got to like diamond one with like seagull and Jay and then I stopped playing like right before I got to Masters, So I still fall under that uh, So I'm gonna be the worst player on my team and it's gonna you know what I mean? It's gonna kind of suck. I Hate that. I hate that feeling Even though you know, I, I probably We'll probably be pretty decent. I don't know. Start off with Kai with two railgun shots. I'll crack open the defensive hold. I always really enjoy watching the defensive holds here. I think play the Torb character. Wait, who's the Torb character in Apex? A little bit of ult charge over to the enemy team, especially when you do lose the fight. You just guarantee yourself that extra one. And even if you, and to be fair, if you win it, you're boosted. Yeah, I'm, I'm boosted in Apex. True. This is the what? No Fucking like plat. Uh. Oh yeah, my bad. I forgot to turn this down. Caustic. Well, actually, Seagull told me yesterday that apparently a lot of the big boys are actually pretty good right now this season, so I might actually play Caustic. Maybe. Speaking of which. Kevster is just hounding down Ooh. Yubi right now. Both DPS pairs end up uh, trading. So uh, Kai, Yubi dead. So it's Tracer versus Soldier now. Ward's narrowly missing Kevster's head, but here comes the sound barrier. Bro, oh, I so just turned the, the, the stream volume. It's maxed, brother. It's, it's fucking maxed. Caves. They're going to actually surge on forward. I take that back. Uh, with Master dead, the, this go time. No more speed. Okay, sure. We'll just run into you. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll see. It does force we'll see. To have to back up, and this is where we'll you sort of want to stop that cart if you want to keep a very strong defensive position and go a lesson. Uh, you also look at the annihilation coming up soon. Like low key, I know it might sound terrible, but I've just had this itch recently to like make better variety content. Especially with the annihilation and the ultimate from Slay, cause playing at quite a distance to just basically free fire into the back line of uh, Ents. Quick reset from Kevster. A minute and 40 seconds to go. Okay. Ents' offense right now not looking that great. However, it can all be changed around. These rail guns, better how? Clocks, they have been the difference. Um, and it's once again comes down to Quartz and Kai. 
basically, well, I think we've cracked now, the code of what's so for the good team for team for team my team style. Um, and it's basically playing variety for like multiple, multiple, multiple hours or days, uh, and then turning it all into one chunky, well-edited video. And so, the last couple times we've done it, it's actually done super, super well. I want to see part two of BG3 out sometime soon. I know Retro's heard me bitch about it for fucking hours at this point. There's just... We just have to wait because there's a queue um, for Cuber. Uh, but like part one popped the fuck off. My Subnautica series popped the fuck off. Um, even Starfield did really, really good, but it wasn't unedited. And I was like, well, I wonder if I did an edited version of all of these things. Uh, instead of just unedited, would it do well? And BG3 was like the first attempt. Um, and, and BG3 did really, really well. And then we tried Pal World, but it was way after Pal World came out, and it's like a different kind of thing. But it's actually low key chugging slow, like very, very slowly. I don't think it's going to be anything insane. Um, but it was like, I didn't expect it to do well. I really didn't. Uh, but I've been surprised on what's happened in the last, like, week and a half since it came out. <gasps> oh, he still made it. Kids can't watch unedited content? Good call. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of more under, like, the Let's Play category, right? And I actually had a meeting, um, semi-recently. I gotta be careful what I say here. Uh, I had a meeting semi-recently with someone from YouTube, uh, my new, like, partner manager. And we were talking about that a bit. It was talking about, like, how much Let's Play content makes on YouTube. And they make hand-over-fist fucking type of money. And I know why it's like that. It's because people watch like 25 minutes chunks and then they go back and watch it multiple times. So you refarm the same person for view or view and for ads multiple, multiple, multiple times. Uh, and then even beyond that, I'm kind of getting fucked in like sponsorships because we hard, we hard upload daily, right? Um, and even though like, it does like it does well right but like if i slowed down the amount of content i put out and made it higher quality i would probably be in a much better spot because you know they they look at the entire channel's average and they're like okay your average views is about 70,000 but that's because like sometimes videos hit 50 and they're not that great but then i do like the once in a while spectatings and those are always like 100 to like 150 200 K or more um, But they don't care because if those pop off even though I give those as sponsor videos most of the time They just look at the actual average like they're too dumb like they're corporate. They're they're, they're just too dumb corporate entities uh, to like realize that and I'm just wondering like would it be smarter to like slow down put out better quality stuff and then that obviously sparked the whole idea of like variety stuff, you know um, put out better quality, less quantity on that department, and then also kind of expand a little bit, so I don't have to play as much Overwatch, but still kind of farm the same stuff I do, you know? I, I think that, even though I enjoy Overwatch and I can see myself playing it for a very, very long time, I think it's just going to be the cycle of, like, play it for a bit, gonna get tired of it, wanna leave for a while. Play it for a bit, get tired of it, come back later, you know? Now just trying to clear off the last couple of members on this point. Kellex is so low. Kevster comes up with his what, like 17th kill of this fight, holding it down. Enjoyed watching you play Pacific Drive, not gonna lie. Pacific Drive was a good time, uh, but I got tilted at that game, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> I love this hero for him. He's nah, I don't. I don't want to do scripted Overwatch time. content. Uh, I, I'd, I'd literally rather quit. Um, less than ten seconds remaining. Point blank, honest. Two sound barriers available for either side, but Yubi's already dead. Kai with a swift railgun shot. Like, don't get me wrong, like, that video did really well. It made good money. But the amount of work it was, and it just. I, it, no offense, like, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like, I get it. It just spawned tons of, like, people that were looking for more educational content, and I just don't want to do educational content. Like, it, this might sound egotistical, but I feel like I could probably kill uh, educational content. I could probably fucking pop the absolute fuck off. 
and 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 make some of the best uh but at the same time though i have zero desire to do it and i think it would just kill all my motivation things start to get really really tricky here on shambali monastery but you do have kai's overclock maybe able to open up a window and you can see the angle that he's well it takes our content thing it's weird um because I've always wanted to go beyond just Overwatch stuff, but I never knew how. And I'm also like, I feel like a little too ethical. Because like most of the time, uh, I try to figure out like if like certain people like have said whether they want their content watched or not. Um, unless it's like an account with like 400 followers and it's like they've uploaded like two videos before. It's like, okay, they probably don't even think about that type of stuff. Um, and so like once you start expanding past like one niche it gets a little bit more complicated uh and i'm sure it would be fine like as long as everything's credited there's kind of like almost like a social contract between a lot of creators where it's like react content's fine as long as it's credited um obviously there's exceptions to that you know and i think people make very good points when there's certain creators who like when they watch like people's content or whatever they just sit there and like almost say nothing the entire time uh i think like as long as it's expanded upon mostly it's fine unless it's like a funny meme then it's like okay you get the laugh and you move on you know what i mean like that was the whole point of the content there's not much else to talk about there right uh but like most of the time you kind of add on to it i think that's totally fine and i think most streamers are totally fine with that uh and it's actually good like some people some people obviously aren't which is totally their right uh but 